speed uh, critical care course they have covered almost all the chapters everything is covered but i think since the next like it's been fixed that this is going to be the exam this is how it is going to be i think if we go through all the videos and uh, go through all the mocks i think it will be very easy to crack sir so i bring in all the wishes and greetings and behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute and team of speed uh, to dr raj kumar for scoring a very good rank of rank number 160 Uh, in super speciality of dm critical care medicine in neat ss 2024 session congratulations to you doctor thank you sir thanks a lot Great. means a lot yeah yeah so thanks for your time that you have shared with us today in your busy schedule and it means a lot to the institute actually it's my pleasure sir so and uh, can we know a brief background history from where you started till date what all you have done sir uh, i did my uh, ug in uh, chennai actually i did from savita medical college okay and then uh, i always wanted to i was always fascinated about doing icu and i was always i wanted to become a critical care physician but i didn't know the route because i was a first generation doctor and i uh, but i always wanted to do medicine actually initially i wanted to do medicine and then i wanted to go to i didn't i was not aware of anesthesia and also doing critical care then i did my uh, me pg and then my uh, rank i couldn't get uh, medicine and then i did want i wanted to do anesthesia and then uh, i did anesthesia and my inclination was always towards icu and uh, my mentors in my uh, pg like my i did my dnb anesthesia and then everybody in my hospital also supported me and then i uh, i did i completed my uh, dnb anesthesia in 2023 and then i joined an sr in Tata Memorial Center in Varanasi in Novi Mapa Cancer Institute. Then I was pursuing. I was do. I was doing uh, SRship and also I opted for Speed uh, Medicine Group initially, and that was the thing I was like studying. Yes, uh, I was studying uh, Addison for like six seven six months, and then uh, suddenly that notification came, and then again uh, you uh, put a video in YouTube that you need to switch it, and I just followed that, and I and I again switched it to. Uh, speed a uh, critical care course and it did help me a lot sir. because doing sr ship and studying and uh, on and off it was it helpful in uh, preparation sir so was it a punishment to read harrison after finishing anesthesia <laughs> i did ask that question sir like oh my god i have to study the entire uh, harrison but it did help me into uh, Uh, forming some core concepts and uh, the faculties in the medicine group also i really enjoy the lectures they did uh, put everything in simplified form even a mbbs graduate who sits and sees the video will be able to understand most of the concepts and it was actually good but yeah i did ask my questions that i have to compete against <laughs> md medicine graduates uh, that that thing was always in my mind but uh, later on nmc and everyone put a separate course and and it also everybody everybody started together in like 3 months everybody was in the same playing field and everybody had to study uh, critical care and being an anesthesia support group it also helped a lot to be honest yeah doctor can we know your preparation strategy i mean what all you did how many hours you spent can you tell us something on that how you started when you started and how you just went on to get it sir actually uh, my uh, duty hours as an uh, sr uh, i was i was working in icu Uh, on on non critical care and my duty hours used to be around 8 hours that's the fixed and i like it will be very hectic and 8 hours i couldn't do anything and then after that uh, usually my duty is is from 1 to 9 in the evening uh, in the afternoon and 1 to 9 and so i to used to work up i used to wake up in the morning around 6 and then i need to study see go through videos and uh, start preparing and i also had to go through certain books also because uh, because it was just 3 months and to be honest going through all the videos also was a bit difficult so i need to just take on the core topics and i had to go to which was difficult i need to see the videos and uh, then i need to see the books also and uh, morning 6 i used to go until 12 i used to study and then again prepare and then go for the duty and again come back so right. that one yes sir that was the I, thing yeah. exactly great i agree with you as well because mm-hmm. the same topic taken by three faculties also there yes <laughs> exactly because they were like i was really astonished by three months people were putting videos they covered entire os critical care they covered entire paul marino and suddenly trauma critical care was coming in and i was like everywhere the videos were coming from all angles 
and uh, and really the videos was really good but uh, and uh, i would only only was say that the mock test which uh, they did uh, among all the platforms because we used to attend other mock tests from other platform also but the most difficult one and uh, was the speed because they <laughs> create this, this this much big stem of the questions which will be very big and you need to know the concept in order to make the mcq right it was never straight forward and uh, that also that made the time uh, because every time they suddenly they made the abc section hmm. that fifth like 50 50 50 minutes but since uh, the already the speed mock test was making the made, made it a fashion that the question was so long <laughs> so we, so we need to read the question and complete it that really helped me because i never had a time issue in my uh, exam and also the question was also very straight forward like apparently so it made it bit easier because since we used to read a long case and then and end up then we need to work out the abgs used to be there and uh, the mock test also was really good so it was very competitive among all other platforms so because we kept the standard 20 to 30% more than the actual standard of exam so that exactly. in case the standard of exam shoots up to that and students should not feel incapacitated so exactly. you should always feel comfortable that's the reason we did it actually exactly sir yeah it was really helpful also great doctor now can you uh, tell us how many questions did you attend sir i attended uh, 145 sir okay good what will be your advice for the future aspirants of ccm sir i would uh, say that like we need to study the core concepts of critical care but apparently the exams uh, this year they made the like questions were very direct they didn't go like into the very like how you prepare for any set any ss you should be very difficult long questions but uh, i think the push, the pattern might change so because since it's the first exam i think the pattern might change in the future so i need to say that stick with the same concept of speed go with the difficult questions study the same concept and i think since next one year the time frame is there i'd say that go through all the videos because uh, they in uh, speed uh, uh critical care course they have covered almost all the chapters everything is covered but uh, since i sadly i didn't have time to go through every videos but i think since the next like it's been fixed that this is going to be the exam this is how it is going to be i think if we go through all the videos and uh, go through all the mocks i think it will be very easy to crack sir i i think they could get better rank than me <laughs> definitely if they go through all the videos and everything sir great doctor now time to thank and whom all you want to thank that helped you and supported you from day one till date there with you I mean so i like i want to uh, thank uh, all my uh, ug uh, uh, my mentors and uh, like they taught me like they told me that okay don't worry if you didn't get medicine there's always anesthesia you can always be always you can incline towards icu go take it don't take a drop here again go don't waste your time you are good and then i went into my pg and there were a lot of mentors over there like uh, dr abhishek sir who has always been with me and guided me and dr ashish trivasal sir who who was a critical care physician and uh, he taught me the core concepts and when i was in my ug i was a jr3 and uh, he didn't he didn't care that i was a jr3 he taught me everything and he was a lot of patience since he was a super he was a specialist doctor he did not need to spend so much of time with me but he told me that you can do it you just see you just uh, go through take your time and obviously doing my sr ship dr shashank sir he was my oic and also my hod dr uh, jk kitania sir they gave me time and uh, at the last moment doing sr ship i wanted uh, a month off to prepare they didn't uh, even uh, take a minute they told you take your time you take off you need to this is your main thing you take a month leave you study and uh, they gave me a very good environment to work and i learned a lot doing my uh, sr ship also sir so these are all the people i need to thank and there are a lot of other people i may not mention my all my friends and uh, uh, all the people who are surrounding me and uh, i need to thank all of them also sir great once again we wish you all the very best and a great success and a great career ahead in critical care medicine and, thank you sir thanks and so you much. wanted to do it and you have done it and uh, you will do amazing job and best wishes in advance thank you very much thank you sir thanks a lot